Hello, everyone, and welcome back once more to Scarlet Hollow. I am the Outback Owl. I'm Yanin Young. I'm Chibi Noob. I'm Tyrion Cosplay. I forgot that I come next. <laughs> I'm cozy. But who is hot it's for okay. justice? <laughs> <laughs> it's me. It's my turn to be the hot for justice. <laughs> you thought you were safe, but it was me, hot for justice. <laughs> All right, so let's All right. go deal with we... the Karen. Yeah, last time we were hanging with Tabitha. You can see how much we were hanging with Tabitha. Uh, yeah. Kind of learning a little bit about the family and everything else and some of the past things that have happened in this town. And, well, specifically in regard to our family and that. And now uh, it seems that uh, What's-Her-Face's mother has uh, words. So who wants to be um, Angry Woman? Oh, dear. Excuse me, Miss Scarlet. That sounds about right. Can I help you? Oh, her husband got fired. Oh, we really fired him? Oh. I'm pretty <laughs> sure. Becca stares at you from a distance as the furious woman tears into Tabitha. This must be her mother. Ah. What the hell do you think you're doing down here? Grinning like a buffoon after everything that happened last night. A mind collapse almost killed my poor, sweet, innocent child. Yes. And you thought it was a good idea to retaliate by demoting my husband? I'm sorry, your child basically went into the mine, uh, because the dad was apparently letting her. I don't know, let's see where, where Tabitha goes with us. We're, we're down to take Tabitha's side. Yeah. We've gotten used to a new lifestyle. You can't just take that away from us for something that was your fault. I see why Becca's the way she is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I heard that one girl had to have her foot amputated. That could have been my child. No, your child ran away like a little coward. <laughs> Don't think I won't be pressing charges. Again, it's not her fault if your child decides to be a fucking idiot, um, you bitch. It also very clearly said no trespassing, mm -hmm. so there's yes. no charges to be pressed. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Ugh, Mom, please, you're embarrassing me. I don't think you're allowed to talk ever again. <laughs> no. Shut up, Becca. Shh. Mommy is advocating for you. Okay, half of me is on her side on that line, and half of me is not on her side of that line. You had me at shut up, Becca, <laughs> but... <laughs> you shouldn't talk to your daughter like that. It's bad parenting. Your husband told your daughter it was safe to go into that mine. Of course he was demoted. You're here complaining about your husband being demoted? Rosaline is permanently injured. You're lucky your daughter didn't get herself killed last night. Just ignore her, Tabitha. She she kind of has the point, Tabitha. No, we're oh, definitely not going. Yeah. No. Yeah, we're... What's, the, what's some of our top options? Uh, that one. Yeah, you Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that second one. Your husband told your daughter it was safe to go into that mine. Of course he was demoted. Ugh, I'm right here. We wish you weren't. <laughs> Even if you did, it wouldn't have mattered if the entrance to the mine was actually secured. There'll be hell to pay Tabitha Scarlet. What legal grounds do you think you even have? There you go. There are signs, the place was boarded up, I did my legal duty, and you don't have a leg to stand on, so don't try to threaten me. There you go. Mom, can we just go, please? If I were you, I'd listen to your brat. You haven't heard the last from us. You'll see. We should just like okay. go up to her and the cry is like, Hey, do you know what happened to Wayne? That was me. <laughs> and you're next. <laughs> the woman storms off just as quickly as she'd stormed in, Becca following at a distance. I'm sorry, Tabby. We got nothing to be sorry about. Yeah, but that she was woman doing good. She was coming out. Now she's just gonna go right back in. No. God damn it. She's right. No, she's not. You can't just hang around town the day after something like that. It doesn't look right. I should be up there, even if it's just to oversee what's going on. Oh No! If I'm supposed to run this place, I gotta get my head in the game. I can't slump up like this again. Get your head in the game with us! Tabitha sighs, straightening up. Her scowl returns. 
Stay out of trouble. I'll see you at the library tonight. Okay, okay. yay, she's still coming ghost hunting. Progress. Yay. Progress, everyone. Your cousin turns and heads back... Your cousin turns and heads back to her car, leaving you alone on Main Street. Let's head to the library. Oh. You enter the library alone. It's busier than usual, and a small crowd is formed in a corner in the, of the main foyer. Stella! Oh, look at the ghost shirt! <laughs> She's got a whole ghost She's wearing a jumpsuit. jumpsuit! She's ready for some ghost busting! Yeah! <laughs> yes, you're here! Good. Kanika! Oh, I love her shirt! Silence of the Lambs? Yeah. Yes! I nice. have expected you to finally skip to town. No! Oh, well, the huh. cops would come after me if I did that. <laughs> We're not that smart. Yeah, we have the, the whole... street smarts. <laughs> yes, the whole gang's here. I've been waiting to introduce Shared Brain Cell to the mayor for like the entire time I've known them. Oh no, wait. The mayor is a dog. Yep. It'll be worth it. Trust us. Oh no. Oh yeah. The mayor's right. gonna get a uh, ditchlinged. Shut up. Oh, Shut no. your mouth. Shut your mouth. No. 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 The mayor can tell us so many. Let me tell you something. Government Let me tell you something secrets. about the mayor. Let me tell you something about the mayor. He is guarded constantly, I guarantee you. <laughs> he is like sitting in the lap of luxury in town hall constantly. He's not going anywhere near a ditchling site. Alright. Shall we? <gasps> oh. <gasps> what oh a my God. toy! Yes! Look at that! He's got Look. secret service! Look at that security. I, I was picturing like a little weenie dog. This is so much I'm gonna better. throw it out there. Look at those pictures in the back. There have been a number of different species, or a, a number of different breeds who have been uh, mares here. Oh, this yeah. is, what, Border Collie looking like yeah. right now? Yeah. Yeah. Yep, he's the dog. Look at Gretchen. Look and at Gretchen. Look at the reverence. Gretchen for mayor. Gretchen clearly voted for this dog. He's a dog. Look how well behaved. Oh my god, I just remembered oh, we, we can, can talk, talk to dogs. To oh yeah! Yeah, that's what I was saying. He can tell us so many government secrets. Oh my god. That's what I was thinking too. This is this is the best decision we made, the animal thing. You can tell this dog is the mayor from his little sash and his fancy top hat. There's a regal air about him, almost as if he knows the position of authority he's been elected to. Oh, puppy. And unless you're mistaken, the serious man by his side is Deputy Franklin, one of the oh. policemen you spoke to following your encounter in the woods on Monday. Oh. So maybe the dog knows something about him. The mayor's little nose maybe. starts twitching as you approach. His doggy eyes shine with a curious in intensity. Oh, he knows we can speak to him. Can, <gasps> I, take, can I take the mayor? <gasps> Do <it>. Yes. <gasps> he wants part, the peanuts. Part of me just wants him to be Mr. Peanut Butter. But yeah, I don't entirely know that Mr. I can. Peanut Butter. Erica. The <laughs> Erica, you're not allowed to vote. <laughs> what do you got there? You got something, something wet and nutty. Give him the well, peanuts. Oh, oh, Yay, it's all come full circle. Offer him Let's a campaign give the mayor contribution. Our bag of He's gonna stop us. Peanuts. Oh God, wait, they're old. If we kill the dog. You hold out <laughs> your now slightly like... rancid bag of boiled <laughs> peanuts. The mayor's <gasps> nose twitches eagerly at their strong odor, and then he's on them in a flash, ripping through the plastic and devouring the soft-shelled legumes. Yes! Oh no! We've gotten rid of them. <laughs> Drop it, sir. Drop it. <laughs> <laughs> His security detail tries oh, to tear God. him away, but it's too late. The peanuts are already eaten. No! Oh, God. oh God, we should have saved I, before we did that. Yeah. I'm sorry. But we killed the dog. Thank you for the generous campaign donation. Oh, hey, you finally got rid of those things. Oh, we knew it was going to come up somewhere. I'm happy with our contribution. You better hope those nuts settle well. If the mayor gets any tummy trouble after eating your disgusting pocket peanuts, they'll be hell to pay. Oh, I'm oh, sure no. I'll be... We can no longer offer pocket peanuts in these trying times. I am fine with that. Do you know why? We truly have satisfied the bestest boy with those pocket peanuts. Mm -hmm. Well, I never... Now you see what I mean. 
Not so much as begging before he dove right for the snacks. Oh, she did not vote for him. Mm, he is no. uncouth. I've smelled those peanuts on you since day one, and you never saw me become such an animal over them. Good morning, citizen. I don't believe we met. We have not. He holds out his paws up to shake your hand. He knows. Hey, aren't you Deputy Franklin? Shake his paw. It's lovely to meet you, Mr. Mayor. He's a dog. Shake his paw. <laughs> shake his paw. I knew he'd be a dog. Yeah, we gotta shake his paw. You take his little paw in your hand, but the but the burly security detail stops you. No Let paw shaking. No paw shaking. Only pe head pats and ear scritches allowed. Okay, let's head pat. Yeah, I'll take what I can get. I must Same. apologize for my security detail. He has my best interests at heart, but he can be a little gruff at times. He's a dog. I knew he'd be a dog. Mr. Mayor, there's something very serious going on in town. We need your help. <laughs> We're doomed, aren't we? Okay, we've met the mayor. Let's go. We are not leaving. We are not leaving. Mr. This is our mayor. whole episode. Yes, there is something there's something very serious going on. We need your help. Is that okay for me to put in? Yeah, I mean, yeah. unless we want to explore anything else. No. Mr. Really. Mayor, there's something very serious going on in town. We need your help. Murmurs turn the crowd behind you as you relay the danger to the mayor. <laughs> of course, the pet disappearances. I've been aware <gasps> of the situation. Oh. Okay, what you doing about it? We're just it? straight up, we're, we're like, no more cover. We are talking to animals now. <laughs> <laughs> But what do you expect me to do about this? It's autumn. That's tourist season in Scarlet Hall. Oh my god, he's the mayor from Jaws. Ah! God damn it. <laughs> I can't turn away the lifeblood of this town, not with the mine faltering the way it is. Oh, so he is aware of the issues. There was a mine collapse last night. We don't need any more news of disaster coming out of Scarlet Hollow. Do you understand? Um, don't cover it up. You care about tourists? Wait, how do you know what's going on? So you know there are monsters laying eggs in the local animals and you're going to just let it happen. You're very well spoken. I can see how you got elected. People are watching. Don't be too suspicious. <laughs> All right. I want what to are we doing questions. here? Maybe reel it in. Don't no. be suspicious. Don't say you're very Don't well spoken. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. <laughs> I mean, saying you're very well spoken just kind of sounds like someone being like, oh, what a good dog and smart dog you are. Yeah. That one does feel I, more like hold it up. could be taken as Just a joke. before we do that, I need to see some of these other ones. We made a save point. I yeah, need I to want to like, save that next one up. Yeah. Yeah. So, so you, you know. know. So, so you know. know there are monsters laying eggs in the local animals and you're going to just let it happen? Laying eggs? Don't be ridiculous. I'm sure that whatever is causing these disappearances is just a bear or a mountain lion. I mean, that it's what Gretchen sure? said, too. We've all smelled them up in those hills. They'll move on soon enough. This is a southern town. Plenty of people are armed around these parts. They'll take care of all the problem of, of the problem before it gets out of, ta out of hand. Um, I don't know how I feel about this mayor now. And in the meantime, the boy. it's best not to cause a panic. This dog is suspicious. I'm a pillar of the of this community. It's my job to protect strengths to, to to project strength to my constituents. Huh. I've heard it. I've heard just about enough from you, Jimmy. <laughs> Look at you, putting on a show in front of your adoring fans while the dogs of this town are snatched up by monsters in the woods, hoping the humans will clean it all up for you. When are you finally going to do something meaningful for the hairier citizens of Scarlet Hollow? Oh. Now, Miss Gretchen, there's no need. Scraps never would have let those prowl the woods for so long. And yet you <laughs> sit back, waiting for the humans to notice, and letting more innocent dogs suffer. Get him, Gretchen. You know I almost lost my life to those things the other night. And my goodness, haven't you heard about poor Duke? Now, Gretchen, a lot of those were old dogs. It's fair f fair of me to assume they simply went to the big farm upstate. No. Don't you dare talk to me about old dogs. <laughs> He's only a dog. It's not choice. like he has any real power. She's got a, she's got a good point, Mr. Mayor. Uh, I guess every politician is corrupt and cowardly, even the actual dogs. 
what are the other options? Stella, your dog is yelling at the mayor. Wow, Gretchen is barking a lot. I think she doesn't like the mayor. Say nothing. <laughs> I mean, we're already here. I guess the politician. Fuck it. We have a save point. In for a penny, in for a pound. Yeah. She's got a good point, She's Mr. Mayor. She's got a good point, Mr. Mayor. <laughs> you damn right I do. <laughs> Scraps would have been out in those woods at the first sign of trouble, tearing out the throats of any creatures who dare threaten the dogs of Scarlet Hollow. Okay, which one was Scraps? Uh, we eat a different mayor. Yeah, but like, which one? Is it one of the ones behind them? Maybe. Probably this one. Because this one's got like a cravat. Mm -hmm. So I think he's the first. Alright. Yeah, here he is posing for the little rectangles like nothing is wrong in this town. (laughs) Crunching squirms and Stella's arms straight to get get it there, Jimmy. Was that the game? Or was one of you yeah, making that, that sound? That was the game. Okay. <laughs> hey, whoa, Gretchen, calm down, old girl. You're gonna pull a muscle. Mr. Franklin, I think now's a good time to dispose of this riffraff. Oh, riffraff? Wow. Miss Richmond, I'm gonna have to ask you and your dog to step away from the mayor. Hmm. Uh, Can he talk to animals These... too? What? She's snarling. I should have known better. These two have never been able to get along. Stella walks off, still struggling to hold Gretchen as she shouts insults back at Jimmy. And great! The air do well! You! You dog! <laughs> Kanika is quick to follow. We're not. No! Look at that! What is the, the little dog on the shelf? He is no. not the bestest boy. Nope. <laughs> nope, definitely not. It looks like everyone else is already talking to Oscar in the next room. Oh. Oh, who hi. Are you? Before you who can catch you? up to you. I don't like this music. Oh, this must be Janie's husband. Oh. oh Before yeah. you can catch up oh. to your companions, oh. you're interrupted by a nervous man with a cross around his neck. That's right. He is the pastor. Hmm. Whoever he is, you can feel his desperation to make a good first impression. A self-sustained and self-fulfilling prophecy. Well, it sounds like old Gretchen and the mayor may have may have some unresolved issues, wouldn't you say? I'm Pastor Daniel. I take it you're a shared brain cell. Everyone's been buzzing about you. Oh, great. I'm so sorry about your aunt, but I'm sure she's in a better place now. I don't like that your hands are in your pockets, sir. <laughs> okay. Any place would be better than this town. I doubt Pearl Ann's in a better place. It sounded like she was awful. <laughs> let's not <laughs> let's not kid ourselves. We both know Pearl Ann is in hell. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't oh. believe in the afterlife. Oh, thank God. I've been hoping to find a priest. Hey, nope. do you know anything about ghosts? Janie mentioned you this morning. Talk to animals. Gretchen says she didn't vote for for the mayor. The mayor is a huckster and a fraud. The bastard <laughs> cares more about tourism than the fate of the town. I should go. go. Yeah, nice do that one. You, though. Like, how crazy Back off, do preacher man. Like? I ain't buying enough what you're selling. Don't talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> like, we're just... We're, this is a whole range of possible responses. Listen, we... We've already established we're crazy. We ran in screaming about doomsday. We're talking to animals. Dude, in for a penny, we're in for a pound. Let me tell you He's this. He's a fraud. We're, we're only crazy until we're proved right. <laughs> exactly. At the end of the day, He's at a the wait, fraud. Guys, I I have I have a I have a thing. You have a thing? Should we ask what he knows about ghosts? Might as well. Let's go there. Yeah. You might because us. we're going on a ghost hunt tonight. That's fair. That's and depending fair. on how good Stella's knowledge is, whatever he could give us could also be helpful. Fair enough. Exorcisms are kind of his purview. Well, maybe not. I don't know if he's Catholic, but yeah. Uh, he's a pastor, so no. Okay, he probably can't perform an exorcism, but we'll we'll we'll, we'll do what we can. Hey, do you know anything about ghosts? That face says yes. Well, ghosts, I've never encountered one myself, but I have heard stories of folks who have been visited by their loved ones from beyond the grave, and it seems like it provides them with a sort of spiritual healing. Like their beloved relatives are watching over them, even in death. Is this about Pearl Ann, or perhaps your mother? Have you been visited by her? 
No, Oscar's place is haunted. <laughs> we need an exorcism. Dang, I thought you might have have some good ghost stories. Ew, no, I mean real ghost stuff, scary stuff. Never mind, say nothing. We need an exorcism. <laughs> I like. I think the top Do two we? are the best ones. It's like, have you been visited by your mother? Do you need the healing spirit? No, we're going to a haunted place. <laughs> no, we need an exorcism. <laughs> this one. I don't know either one. Either one's good with That's me. The top one. Do we need an exorcism? Top. Who's possessed? We don't we don't know that we need an exorcism. We might an need an exorcism, exorcism doesn't for the have house. to be on a person. Yeah. No. But here's the thing. He's a pastor. He can't perform an exorcism. So Yeah, that's house. correct. You need to be a Vatican certified priest in order to be an exorcist. Do you we don't think look nothing the devs like Vatican of Scarlet certified. Hollow went into that much exploration? Yes. I, I mean, I would hope. Honestly, but... I'm going to say this. They've gotten a, they, they've been a very detailed town yeah. and lore. I think they probably would have done some research. I think they know yeah, you got to house. be a priest. On a house. On a house. No, Oscar's place is apparently haunted. Oh, like a Scooby-Doo episode or something. I'm afraid I don't buy into that particular notion. It's a bit too spiritualist. Oh, now, okay. if it were a vision of one of his parents trying to contact him from heaven, I could understand that. Okay. Um, but that simply, means they never left. Yeah, that's a little, a little bothersome. But I simply don't believe in malicious spirits lingering neither in heaven nor hell, jumping out of closets to scare us. I don't like that face. I'm trying to make him as creepy as possible. <laughs> it's working. <laughs> I don't like those teeth. Oh, oh, everything about this is worse than the Tabitha face. <laughs> I'm sure there's a perfectly reasonable explanation for whatever it is he saw. <laughs> Get out of here, you creep. <laughs> well, you believe in some ghosts and not others? What makes you an authority on that? Well, I am a pastor. <laughs> there were ghosts in the mines last night. There's been a lot of supernatural stuff happening the past few days. Are you calling Oscar a liar? I trust Oscar. You should come ghost hunting with us tonight, then, and prove it's not a haunting. <laughs> should oh. we invite him? Throw out invitations. No. <laughs> All right, I, I believe don't. You. We're I, like the more people to witness this, the better. So I the cops can get off my ass. Hold up. The more people who show up, the less likely a supernatural event will occur. That's true. We just need a couple close people. Also, I'm not sure how enthusiastic the rest of our party is going to be about him coming along. Absolutely it would be not. so funny. Stella's just like, you literally invited the whole town to this. <laughs> you invited the mayor? <laughs> Why? You invited your cousin? You invited the pastor? <laughs> okay, the cousin makes sense. The pastor, less so. <laughs> Actually, let's just run upstairs and throw out an invitation to everyone. Tourism! I, I would say, like, uh... I don't know. There's been supernatural stuff happening the past few days. There's been a lot of supernatural stuff happening these past few days. Really? Are you sure you weren't just saying things? Wow. You know something. Are you sure? It sounds like the police. Are you sure you weren't just saying things? Is the whole town in on this? He might be. Share brain cell, are you sure you weren't just seeing things? Trauma has a funny way of manifesting itself. I don't like your eyes. I don't believe in an afterlife. Jenny mentioned you this morning. You mentioned Pearl Ann being in a better place earlier. I doubt it's a better place. It sounds like she was awful. Okay, these are all the options from before. Um... Yeah, I think we'll, we'll have to... There is a hat. We'll have to explore some of these next time. Bye bye, everybody. Bye. Hey, thanks for watching, and if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell icon for notifications. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like, and feel free to check out some of our other gaming videos, our weekly podcast, Anime Yay or Nay, or our parody series, Madoka Magically Abridged. See you next time!